Hey everybody, Donnie coming at you. Today I wanted to take a quick minute and show you the uh, resting shed, the he shed, she shed, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, beautiful sunny day here in southern Mississippi and uh, south Mississippi. And um, when I did my last video, I talked about building a shed um, that I could put an air conditioner in, a little refrigerator in, something pretty economical where I could come out from in the sun in the heat, take a break, and um, just relax a little bit. And I had several people ask me about this shed, so figured I'd do just a quick little video here for you guys and gals and, uh, and let you see what it is that I built. So I'm going to flip you around and... Um, and just kind of show you what I built, what it is, and kind of give you a rough estimate at the time of what I built. Um, prices have gone up quite a bit in the last few months since I have built this uh, shed. So please, um, this is October the 1st, 2020. Excuse me, ah, breakfast time. Uh, October the 1st, 2020, I built this shed about three months ago and lumber was probably half the price. So take that as you will and uh yeah let me show you guys and uh, guys and gals what i'm what i built here so what i basically built was a 10 foot by 12 foot shed now take in mind i still need to paint it still need to do some uh touch up work to it i want to find me a a handle a twist type handle a lock that goes on the front door that way when you close the front door, when you close it, it, it automatically, um, you know, you could twist it to lock it or whatever, but I haven't really seen a ton yet. Now I haven't, I haven't searched a whole bunch either, um, but maybe there's something out there to see. Uh, maybe some of you guys can comment uh, below and let me know what kind of hardware I need to be looking for. And, uh, to make it easier to latch it when I do shut it. The shed is 12 foot wide, 10 foot deep. I used four four by four 12s as my pontoons or base, if you will, where I can move this thing around once we're ready to move it. Because right now we're right on the property line of my neighbors um, because the power pole is right here. And this is where I put my temporary power pole so this was the most convenient location for me to put this that's why i put it here so it's basically just sitting up on a bunch of scrap blocks and wood and things like that i leveled it up two by six treated um, floor structure on 16 inch centers and like i said four four by um, four four by four is 12 foot long uh, two by six on 16 inch center uh, floor structure on top of that is three-quarter plywood, but it's just regular plywood. It's not treated or anything like that because it's kind of off the ground. I used um, 3 8 T111 siding to side it. And um, the only opening in it for security reasons was where is where the air conditioner goes. Let me bring you around this way a little bit. And as I was saying, I still need to finish the fascia, put something on it, something on the, uh, and, and, and clean up the outside and paint it or stain it or something to protect it, do my soffits and get those done. All of that is two by six structure. I did two by four walls. I'll bring you in in a second and show you. I did two by four walls on 16 inch center. I did two by six roof, just a flat roof. It drops about, uh, about eight inches in that 10 or 12 foot span so plenty of runoff uh, has a flat rolled roof um, with the self-adhering back on it so it really works well it's stuck down good i have no roof leaks no issues no problems just a decent little shed i do have trim i'm gonna trim out the corners just like i did uh, the front door there let me back up a little bit where you can see 
and um, I'm gonna trim out the corners I'm gonna do the soffits and all that and it'll be a nice little shed at the time I built this shed I'm thinking that it was around $800 maybe 900 bucks but it was definitely under a thousand dollars so as we go in as we go into the shed uh, the he sh he shed she shed <laughs> as we like to call it as you can see it's like a four foot wide door you come in I mean there's nothing special in here nothing at all um, it is built on 16 inch centers I did insulate the roof with just a uh, half inch insulation let me turn this air conditioner off because I'm pretty sure that's probably going to blast you guys out. Um, I insulated the roof. I didn't really try and make it fabulous. I already had the lights up and then my wife said, you need to insulate the roof. It'll really help it in here. And uh, that's what I did. So I insulated the roof and it helps tremendously with this little bitty air conditioner. It's, a, um, it's an Arctic King. It's one I already had that I had in my previous little space. It's got an auto function and energy saver and all that. So when it's really hot outside, I just leave it on and it'll cycle through its deal. And, and uh, yeah, it's good to go after that. Once again, two by four walls, braced. Um, have all our windows in here for the, for the house so you can see how close it is to the house. I can come in here. I can rest for a few minutes, chill out. And uh, it's really been a huge help. I have I keep the compressor in I don't have to wheel it in and out as you can see all the dang tools and everything all over the place it is a mess um, because at the end of the day I just throw all my stuff in here lock it down and walk out but it's nice not having to roll things out I just the hose stays out I just plug it in in the mornings or whenever I get here I'm starting to hang up some tools some stuff awesome thing right here hundred dollar fridge keep it stocked with uh waters and uh electrolytes and all that kind of stuff gotta have my little man dawson's apple juice in there um i keep some of these hydrolyte packets and uh you know i built a little shelf to put that on and, and it really wouldn't take much to organize it and to get it straightened up in here it's just that's not my main priority right this second, if you catch what I'm saying. But I'm able to come in, chill out with the air conditioner, and uh, just kind of take it easy. You know what I'm saying? It, it really makes a huge, huge difference um, in the way that I feel as I'm working on this house during the day. Like I said, I'll go out, I'll work for an hour or so, come in here and just sit for a few minutes. I have some snack crackers and stuff in here. Um... That way, if I feel like I need to just something quick, just to kind of chill out for a minute, I'll uh, take a break for 10 minutes or so. I don't keep it freezing in here because going in and out of that freezing cold, you just never gonna, it's just not gonna be a good idea in my opinion. Um, but I keep it like at 73, 74 degrees. And uh, yeah, I'm able to walk back out, able to feel refreshed I go out do a little more work and if it's only 30 minutes it's only 30 minutes it doesn't you know I'm on my own time frame here getting this house built so just wanted to share with you folks this simple simple build I don't have any draw I basically kind of I don't even know if I sketched this out to be honest with you I knew what I kind of wanted to build I threw me a little material list together and um, just started building it it took me a couple of days to throw it together and it really makes a huge difference in the way that I feel and um, and and my productivity so I'm gonna turn that air back on and uh, yeah it's pretty energy efficient what that Sun's <laughs> that Sun's kicking out here but yeah pretty neat little place it's only 30 40 feet or so away from the uh, from the house that's my neighbors over there and um, yeah it's funny we're sitting on several acres out here they're sitting on three acres we're sitting on close to the same two acres or so two and a half acres and you're still this close sometimes but as you can see the house is over here um, and we have property that goes way back all those woods right there are ours it goes back a couple hundred feet beyond that 
but once we move the shed and use it as a garden shed once i build the shop and the driveway comes in we'll probably end up just putting some kind of simple fence up um, that allows us to give a little bit more privacy out here but uh they're great neighbors good people and um yeah there's the power pole you can see that's my temporary power pole but here's the power where it comes in so you can see why i put the shed right there it just it made sense at the time anyway thought i'd share that with you folks uh, if you have any questions about how i built it or anything like that leave uh, comments in the uh, comment section below and uh, if you have any ideas about some hardware for that door uh, like a twist type you know more of the commercial shed buildings um, yeah give me a holler and let me know what the deal is and and real quick speaking of the commercial buildings and things like that let me let me flip you guys back around to me here i got me a new camera so i'm trying to make sure that i'm working it right the main reason that i built this building myself is i went and started looking at uh 10 by 12 buildings or 8 by 12 buildings just different different size buildings uh i was gonna pick up a, a commercial pre-built i guess you would say my goodness gracious they were very very expensive um a 10 by 10 i believe was around um around 3500 bucks a 10 by 12 was around 4500 dollars um yeah it may and 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 i can guarantee you that it was not built on 16 inch centers um it did not have 16 inch center floors it probably had the three-quarter plywood floor but it was probably um i, I don't know but i know it was three-quarter I guarantee you wasn't on 16 inch centers walls floors and ceiling i guarantee you all that so i feel like i built a pretty good shed for under a thousand bucks it took me a couple of days and i just couldn't justify spending four thousand dollars on a shed so with that said get out there and build yourself something cool awesome it really didn't take much and that may be my temporary um may be my temporary shop where i can put my lathe out there and a few other things uh, so I can have somewhere to work until I'm ready to build my own shop out here on the property which I will document um, I'll document it a little bit better than I documented the house I was just trying to get this house going anyway enough rambling for the day hope you guys have a great day get out there build yourself something awesome have fun doing it and um, yeah it's it's rewarding when you build yourself something instead of just going out and buying it all the time, right? So anyway, have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.